Joe Biden's administration has banned Russia-based cybersecurity firm Kaspersky from providing its popular antivirus products in the U.S. over national security concerns. Kaspersky will generally no longer be able to, among other activities, sell its software within the United States or provide updates to software already in use, said a Commerce Department statement. The announcement came after a lengthy investigation found Kaspersky's continued operations in the United States presented a national security risk due to the Russian government's offensive cyber capabilities and capacity to influence or direct Kaspersky's operations. The U.S. Commerce Secretary, Gina Raimondo, said, Russia has shown time and again they have the capability and intent to exploit Russian companies, like Kaspersky Lab, to collect and weaponize sensitive U.S. information. Kaspersky, in a statement said the Commerce Department, made its decision based on the present geopolitical climate and theoretical concerns and vowed to pursue all legally available options to preserve its current operations and relationships. The move is the first such action taken since an executive order issued under Donald Trump's presidency gave the Commerce Department the power to investigate whether certain companies pose a national security risk. While Kaspersky is headquartered in Moscow, it has offices in 31 countries around the world, servicing more than 400 million users and 270,000 corporate clients in more than 200 countries, the Commerce Department said. Kaspersky is allowed to continue certain operations in the U.S., including providing antivirus updates, until the 29th of September this year, in order to minimize disruption to U.S. consumers and businesses and to give them time to find suitable alternatives, it added.